Yo, what is up guys? It is Small back with another Epic 7 video for you guys today. And today I decided to make a short video going over my daily routine in Epic 7 because I realized while watching some of my in real life friends play the game that have been playing for actually a couple months actually that they don't actually know how to go through their daily routine efficiently and they don't even tackle everything that I would recommend doing personally on a daily basis. And yeah, basically every time I log in, after the reset happens, I have like a checklist First things first, right? You're always gonna want to do your daily summon. If you don't have enough time to play, then at least make sure you do your daily summon, um, because one summon a day might not seem like anything, but you get that daily um, reputation quest. You also have a chance at getting good artifacts, good heroes, obviously. And you just want to make sure you get this out of the way. Now, these are my ten free summons that are happening because of the summon event right now. So you definitely want to make sure you're doing this because every day you'll be getting ten free summons for an entire week or seven days. So that equals seventy free summons, guys. So you really want to make sure you log in and do this for sure. Um, as you can see, I'm getting nothing right now. But last video, I did get it at 5-star unit, so I can't really complain. Usually, if you get one 5-star during this event, it's a pretty big deal. Um, and yeah, I did get nothing, but it's okay. The best part is you're getting free um, gold transmit stones, and you're getting heroes to transmit for silver transmit stones, and you're also getting artifacts to powder. And after that, what I do is I go into my sanctuary. I will claim my Heart of Orbis, right? You also want to go to your high command, go to your war missions, make sure your your 3 and 10 are running um, because you want to farm those conquest points and you don't have to check it every hour if you're lazy, it's fine. And what I do is I actually will summon my Mega Phantasmas and these are actually off cycle. I want them to be together so I can farm them at the same time so I can be a little bit less lazy and you also get a quest that way. And then what I do is from my fodder that I farmed the day prior and from that Mega Phantasma I got, I will mass promote and this will also give me another quest done. So you'll see I have 45 out of my daily. So this, basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to fill out this reputation tab here. You're trying to fill out all of this and get it all done. And then you spend all your remaining energy either on hunts, spirit altar or adventure, whatever you want. And then, yeah. So then I go to pet house. I will adopt for free. Um, you always get a free uh, pet adoption every day. And then I go to Garo, check the store because it refreshes every hour. And what I decide to do here usually is for my arenas, if I have three of these saved up, I will do all of these. Now, I'm basically going to do them all of them, and the way I do it is I just run a fodder team, or not a fodder team, a team that does it really quickly, because, yeah, otherwise it takes a while. So I'm not going to show every single battle, because that will take a while, so after I get all these three battles done, I will um, be back. And we are now finishing up the last of my three arena battles, and the reason why I want to do three is because you'll see right now I get the pop-up for the quest here. Now I'm at 75 and 100, so what do you do for the last 25? It's pretty simple. Um, there's multiple ways you can do it, but these are the uh, ones that I recommend doing every single day. Uh, first off, you're also going to want to do your Abyss. So if you're not clearing it, I know I'm at 100. Guys, I have not done Abyss since the cap was 100 because I legitimately hate Abyss. But I promise when I start streaming, I'll just stream it and do all of them. But yeah, Abyss, I literally despise. I think it's like the worst thing to do in the game. It just drives me insane. But yeah, you either want to complete it or do the Purify. And then what I do now is I go into Labyrinth as well. Um, because if you guys did not know, if you are new to the game, you guys should be going into this stage every single day. And then you go to the top right corner and then you go left. And then you fight one battle. Uh, you ideally want to bring a different team than this that can just one-shot the first wave instantly fast, like a Vildred or an Arby with their S1. Um, some people have like no fight here for some reason, um, but I have a fight for some reason. I know some of my friends don't have a fight on the way to the shop, but there is a secret shop here. You want to check this every day because you can get charms, you can get bookmarks, you can get catalysts, right? Just buy all the charms, bookmarks, and catalysts. That's all you really need to know because that is what you are looking for from this blue little guy, also known as Hoochie. And then that doesn't give you anything. But for the last remaining points, you can either do, I think, one hunt run, or you can do um, five, what's it called, adventure runs, which takes a while, uh, or you can do, yeah. So I'm at 85, I could do one hunt run, or I could do five adventure. So obviously I'm going to do the hunt run because it is quicker. And then what we can do after that is show you what else I like to do. But let's just run this hunt run real quick. If you guys don't, didn't know, I have a one-shot wyvern team if you guys are wondering how to get that running you guys can check my wyvern one-shot guide out on youtube um, but pretty simple you need sinful angelica 
SSB or Clarissa, and then you're gonna want, um, or Rem, and then you're gonna want Cigarette or Rem or, or Mui, I think, might, might work. And then Karin or Flan. There's a lot of uh, different variations, but this is the one that I run, and you'll see my SSB one shots the first wave with their S3, S2, with Drink, pretty simple. And then basically, if I don't land a defense break with my Karen, yeah. So, I know some of you guys already know how my Wyvern one shot team works, but <clears throat> I'm just showing this again just in case you guys didn't. And because it is part of the, the daily routine, I usually just sit here and watch it just to, you know, enjoy what I built for my Wyvern one shot team. And yeah, this is going to work because I did land the defense break and secret one shots. And then that will give me my 100 points for the reputation. And I've done my labyrinth check, right? And now I can claim everything. Usually I like to claim everything all together because uh, I don't know why, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, before I claim though, there's also a few more things you're going to want to do. So one, you're going to want to go to friendship here. You're going to want to buy your... Uh, actually, before I do this, there's also guild dailies you want to do. So guild, right? Um, what you're going to want to do is do your daily rewards. If you're not in a guild, you can ignore this, but I really recommend getting into a guild because there's so much to do. Click Battlefield. So you go to Guild Wars here if you have Guild Wars running that day, and you're going to want to do your three hits because um, you get more Mystics for just attacking, even if you lose. And then what you're going to want to do is do your World Boss here. Now, for World Boss, it doesn't really matter. You just, you know, select your team, use a supporter, right? And then you do this. And then you already know what to do with World Boss, right? You guys have been doing this every day. But World Boss is really nice because it gives you a lot of good drops. And you're going to want to make sure you do this every single day as well. Now there are two runs you can do every day, so you're going to want to do both. I'm just going to show you one real quick because I'll do the other one off, off of a recording because I don't want to waste too much time because you guys probably already know. But yeah, just to glance over this because you can get, you know, Epic Catalyst. Very nice. Um, but very nice to do. And then after your World Boss and Guild Wars, you want to do aid. So I will request Mana Drake Claws, right? The way, reason why I do this is because you're farming Brave Crest really easily. You're just passing around the Mana Drake Claws like you'd pass around something else. And then we will go to Donate here. And yeah, you donate your gold and then you get two of these a day. Um, so you could donate all of them from World Boss or three if you have three. And then basically nothing else to do for guilds. And then yeah, that's your guild dailies. And then now what I do is I will go to my shop because I've basically done all my dailies. You're going to want to get all your free energy for the day. So you get free energy from your friendship. You want to buy this every single day. You also get it from conquest points. You buy this every single day. You can also buy flags here if you guys are really um, into arena PvP, but I'm just camping champion, so I don't really need it. And then also what you can do, guys, is if you click the notice in events tabs, um, I think it's in events. Yeah, so if you click events here and you watch, if you click this button, you can actually watch ads here. And then basically you get energy for completing the ads now. I'm not going to watch it because, okay, I'm forced to watch it apparently. But yeah, basically, I'm going to just, and we're done that as, so yeah, basically you get 30 energy, you can do it five times a day, so it is more free energy, right? Um, 20 energy actually. So yeah, now what you do is with all your free energy that you've gotten that you want to, you know, just claim it. Honestly, I'll go to about like 350 because your hunts will take about 400 if you run it 20 times and you have a chance to fail a lot so you don't want to cap at 400 because you cap and then what you want to do now is whatever you want to do adventure or hunts you spend all your energy there and that might seem like you're done everything because um you have all your energy right and your daily is done but you also want to make sure you claim this at some point um, during the day and then you can use that energy as well now the reason why i recommend doing stuff like this is because one it takes a lot less time um, if you get into a cycle and a routine and also once you claim this 20 daily reputation you have 10 percent battle gold earned for an hour so you want to use all your energy <clears throat> of the day in like that one hour time period to maximize the gold you get so for me it's going to be wyvern and then basically i will just repeat battle wyvern and then claim the energy from match with aiden and then keep going and probably use some leaves and stuff because um yeah i it is the haunt event right now so yeah um, basically, I made this video just because a lot of people think that this game takes a lot of time, especially if you're playing every day, but if you're playing on a casual routine and you're not really um, having a lot of time lately to play the game a lot, like for me during my semesters or when I have exams, I can just do all my dailies in a day and then upload a video in like an, 
or not do all my dailies in a day, do all my dailies in a, like less than an hour and then do like my recordings in like an hour and a half and then yeah, it doesn't take that much time. So I hope this video helped you guys out, especially newer players out there. And as always, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.